We started in late 2006 and yeah, the first one we had I think 70 people. Um, so it was rather smallish event. Um, but we already had, I think, probably more geeky mix of, of um, projects than we have now. Uh, some people there who are connected with Creative Commons. Um, something called Bookmooch, which that was, well, I think that was, so that was the first project that was, or project slash startup that was presented at Mad Mini Bar. Bookmooch is a website where you can mooch books. Mooching meaning you send books to people that you have on the shelf and you're not reading anymore, and then you collect points and you can exchange that for books in return. Peer to peer exchange for books. So it was more developers than, than startups as such? Yeah, I would say so. Um, in the beginning, it was certainly more on the technology side, the crowd, than now it's it's more entrepreneurs. Um, I'd still say we, we find, you can find lots of entrepreneurs at Minibar who are probably developers themselves. Um, but you, you certainly don't find um, the majority isn't, you know, PHP coders or Flash developers. So, so what, what prompted the idea of actually having a meetup for, for people? Well, it was very simple. I went to, to a couple of um, meetings myself and as partly I was, I, was, I was one of the founders of Creative Commons in the UK and that brought me in touch with lots of people in, in more the kind of internet geek world and I was involved with a startup like Sam called ecareer.co.uk for that I had to go to lots of kind of industry meetings so they had like new media awards and I don't even remember how they're all called by the you know British Computing Society and and they're all rather boring events. Um, useful if you're in the industry, but it's like tie and suits and you meet many marketing managers working for big mobile operators. And and the people were just a bit a bit boring. Um, but it, but likewise when I went to of geek meetings like Dogbot and, and stuff like this. I would never find people I can talk about business aspects. But you clearly need both if you want to run a startup. You need some people who understand technology and business, and then you need people who more focus just on the technology side. And you need to get those people to talk together. And that's that's the, the reason we started Minibar and, and that that's also how we came up with the name. It was you know, they're bar camps, but we didn't want to run a bar camp. I mean, they were run anyways, but we wanted to do something similar, which is quite open. People can rock up, present something, um, and the rest of the time they network in kind of free form. Um, so we chose to call it mini bar, so like a mini bar camp. But since we did it in a bar, we left the camp out and just focused on mini bar. Do you find that? The people come along are increasingly business savvy. Yes, compared to one and a half years ago, we have more business savvy people. We have more people who have, for example, worked for a number of years in big companies like Yahoo, and then decided to start their own company. So they have an industry background, and I think that's also quite different to the kind of dot com era, because there wasn't that much of an industry before that. And now you have lots of people who have probably been in this whole field for 10 to 15 years. And sometimes they had quite good positions, management positions, in companies like you know, Yahoo, Microsoft, or other big ones. And, and now they're joining a team. They're being hired as a CEO or the technical director. And that mixes quite often with, with rather young developers. I think compared to one and a half years ago, what has certainly changed is there's much more of a vibrant ecosystem in London 
than than I could find one and a half years ago. It, I think it existed in pockets, but now you have a lot of tech events in London. Um, open coffee into open coffee, you probably go if you want to raise investment. Open coffee is much smaller to, compared to mini bar, and it's on a Thursday morning. You literally drink coffee, and you have very targeted talks with specific people. Um, whereas I think mini bar is different in the regard that you just meet many more people. I've been to a few open coffee events. It's probably the best event in London if you have a business already and you want to start up and you want to meet investors. Um, it's it's not a kind of it doesn't bring geeks, technologists, VCs, designers, um, marketing people, all of all of this kind of really diverse crowd it doesn't bring those together because they don't really have a reason to go there. Um, it's it's mostly um, and that's also the way it started. It was started by a by a guy who was actually a, a, an investor 